Hello everyone! So, as you may know, uh, I went back to Japan this summer and, well, it's, it's winter now. Or maybe it's not officially winter yet, but it's really cold. Um, but I still have a lot of footage left from when I was in Japan because I am lazy and I never edit anything. And today I wanted to show you some of that footage. But I have another announcement to make. So today is November 30. I mean, okay, by the time I upload this, it will probably not be November 30 anymore. But still, today is November 30, which is the day that I promised I will pick the winner of the giveaway for the Japanese sweets. And yeah, that's what I'll do at the end of this video. So definitely stay till the end of this video. So in summer in Japan, the number one thing to do is go visit summer festivals or matsuris. So matsuris are great. You have a lot of different uh, shops for street food and it's just so good. Um, but also we have these fireworks and they're just insane. I have never seen fireworks that beautiful in Germany before. So when I saw them for the first time two years ago, I was just stunned. And usually people who go visit Matsuris, they will put on yukata, which is like a traditional Japanese garment clothing thing. So it's like a kimono, but it's not as heavy. So it's very light and nice for the summer. So yeah, anyway, when I went to Japan this year, of course, I wanted to go see fireworks again. But for some reason, it just didn't work out. I felt like there was a curse on me going to the summer festivals in Yukata. So I was staying in Tokyo this summer and the first festival that we went to see was in Adachi. And there were so many people there. I think it was 500,000 people in total, which was crazy. And if you've seen my video about buying a new Yukata in Tokyo with Paris, uh, then you will already know this story. But anyway, so we got to the fireworks site early uh, because that's what you gotta do when there's 500,000 people there and we found a really nice spot and we put down all our stuff like our food and everything and I sat down and the minute I sat down uh, my yukata tore it just the fabric just ripped in a very unfortunate spot so yeah the fireworks were great uh, we had lots of good food and the fireworks were just absolutely beautiful it was stunning i think it went on for one hour and it was just amazing but the whole time i sat there i was like i can't get up because everyone will see so yeah that was not so good but i somehow made it home which also was a problem because try getting on the train when 500,000 people try to get on a train but anyway, we thought, okay, let's just try this again, see some more fireworks. And so I went to buy a new yukata with Paris and then we wanted to go to the Sumidagawa fireworks, which are the biggest fireworks in all of Japan, I think. So um, they expected a million people to visit these. But for this, it was a bit better because, um, so Adachi was just one side, so everyone was at the same riverbank watching it. But for Sumidagawa, it was supposed to be a bit more scattered, so you could see it from a lot of different places. So yeah, we did all our preparations, we bought food, we looked at the best spot to see the fireworks, and we put on our yukata, and we went there. But yeah, it did not go as planned at all, so you will see that now. Okay, so we're on our way to Sumidagawa fireworks. Uh, I'm wearing the yukata that I bought together with Paris and we have our food here. It's mainly unhealthy snacks because that's what you eat at a firework. But yeah, let's see. I'm super excited! Okay, we arrived but it's raining super hard so we can't leave. So now we're just waiting here at the station eating our karage. And we'll see, maybe it'll stop raining. to buy some umbrellas at Daiso but they may be sold out already <laughs> 
umbrellas are sold out everywhere, <laughs> so we just continue to use our sheet thingy as a tent. Very crafty. to go back home because it's not stopping and it's getting worse actually and there was thunder and everything's sticky and wet so we're just leaving so sad so those were sumiragawa fireworks for me um it was kind of sad that we didn't get to see the fireworks but i think it was a really memorable day i will never forget sitting in our like makeshift tent and the tent actually made everything worse do not try and build your own tent it's horrible all the water just goes in there and then you sit in a puddle of water so no i can't recommend that but in the end we just went home and watched some ghibli movies so it was still a good day okay so for the giveaway i got a lot of comments i think it is the most comments i ever got in such a short time and it was so nice reading all your little stories and also to see uh, how many different reasons there are why you all got interested in Japan. So thank you everyone for commenting on that video. And I will just use this website that allows you to pick a YouTube comment randomly. So it's random. <laughs> and the winner is... It's Sylvia! So yeah, congratulations. Sylvia, by the time that this video is online, I will have already contacted you. Um, so that I can send you the sweets. I still have to find a nice box to put them in. I don't have anything. But yeah, that was it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'm already working on the new one actually. So the next one will also be leftover footage from Japan, but I also have a very big announcement to make in the next one. So stay. Also, I have a very big announcement to make in that one. So be, um, I don't know. Look forward to it. Be excited. Ah, be happy. Have a nice whatever. <laughs>